Hello, ladies. I'm coming with another, uh, technically unboxing, I guess. Uh, I just got it today. Came all the way from Canada from a wonderful lady who traded me for it with some of my pads. So I'm really, really excited. Um, I've already taken it out of the packaging, but not the box that it came in. So it's literally going to be an unboxing. Here it is. Can you believe it? I got a brand new in package. So I'm super excited. Um, I actually pulled out some of my other cups too so I can do side-by-side um, -side comparisons and um, firmness tests for you all. So let me just unbox it. Ooh, the bag is awesome. It's stretchy. Four-way stretch. It's like a, um, it's like swimsuit material. And it's got, I don't know if it's going to be backwards for you all, but the name on it. Okay. It does, oh my goodness, that is literally a little book. Okay. And it does have a user manual. And it's, it's literally like a book. It's got a spine and everything. Um, it shows fold. It shows how to um, sterilize. Has it in different languages. English is all the way at the beginning, so that's nice. Yep, it shows insertion techniques, everything. So that's really cool. Now, on to the cup. I have been wanting to try this cup forever because of my high cervix. I thought maybe it would be like the perfect cup. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so I've watched videos on this cup before. Um, trying to get an idea of what it would be like and everyone says the silicone on these is just amazing and it's different it's so different from anything else sorry if you can hear my kids playing they're probably gonna be loud um, it does have a hollow stem and I've heard that these are a pain in the rear to clean out but I'm not really a heavy bleeder so I can't imagine it's gonna be that big of a deal for me the silicone it's like nothing else. It's almost like it's almost like the silicone babies, I would say. Maybe like the little fake babies that they do. Um, like the real life kind of ones. That's what it almost feels like. It's such a different feeling silicone. And it does have those two spines that you that you hear them talk about. So it's firmer on the spines than it is not on the spines, but it's not that much different. It's, it's different. I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so I have the size A, which is the smallest size that they offer. And I'm sure you've seen other videos where it's got the little pore spout, but I think this is also acts as the suction area because, as you can see, it doesn't have any type of suction release holes. Um, I think that that has to be part of it too. I think it's a two-in-one kind of deal. And it does have the no-spill rim. Oh my goodness, it's just so different. And I don't, you might be able to see it. You can, can you see where it's like a little bit darker inside right here? You might be able to see it. I'm not really sure. There you go. You see that little like indentation right here? That's a spine, and on the other side it has the same thing. You might be able to see that one better. This is different. The rings on the on the base aren't that bad, but nothing else any farther up. But it does have that nub that they talk about where you can just grab onto that nub if you can't. Or if you end up cutting the stem, you have that nub to kind of grab onto. Okay, so let's compare it to my other cups. Here's it to the small classic Maluna. Hold on. Here's the, I just got my purple one in. The model, oh no that's going to be two. Okay, model one Lunette. So that's the shortest and here's it on the longest. Here's my Lena. Again, on the longest and on the shortest. 
here's my, I'm sorry, if you're hearing weird noises, I'm trying to shake them out of their bags. There we go. Here's my Gaia cup. Probably hear the ice cream truck too. It's driving crazy. They go past my neighborhood a couple times. And my Anytime cup. Okay. Now, squish test. The rim is obviously going to be a little bit firmer, but it's really weird to describe. So I'm going to do it just how it would be if you were to just punch it down. The area that it would punch down in kind of deal, if that makes sense. So it's very... Oops. One sec. <laughs> threw it all the way across my table. Yep. Okay. I'm coming. <sighs> so it's really, really slippery. <laughs> I can't keep a hold of it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's just try it this way. So, if we were to do it on the punch down, this is the area it would be in. This is really hard because it's such a different shape. And this is the classic Maluna. Yeah, the rim's a little bit firmer on the lily. The Gaia is just going to be completely crushed by it. I'm not even putting pressure on it. <laughs> so that's kind of not a good one to compare it with. Let's see. I'm getting kind of confused here. Hold on. Anytime. Here's my Lena. Yeah, these are really hard to kind of do a test on for the rim. And here's the lunettes. This is hard. Sorry if you hear my kids yelling at each other. like impossible to try and do. Um, there's no seams on it whatsoever. It's just one piece of really nice silicone. It's thin except for the spine areas. Let's see this is this is weird. Hold on. This is what the punch down would look like. So it's got a really small punch down when you compare it to what my lunette looks like punched down. It's hard trying to hold both of these. Hold on one sec. This is a lot harder. Sorry, you hurt my daughter. Singing to herself. So that's what my punch down looks like on my lunettes. And look at how much smaller it is with my Let's see, Lily. So it's a really small punch down, which is nice because that's my favorite method to use. <clears throat> the sea fold's a bit big. Um, how is it compared to my? Oh, I have really bad hangnails again, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm a really bad um, anxiety biter. Really, really bad. This is like the best I can do at the moment. But here's the Maluna. Oh gosh. So it has a really small punch down, which is nice. Um, it's really soft. I was expecting it to be firmer, so I'm really happy that it's not. So I'm gonna give this a try. My cycles do in a couple days. Unless it decides to be like last month where it's five days early. So, anyways, we'll see. I will get this sterilized and I'll be able to put a review up hopefully in the next couple weeks. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, click subscribe if you want to check out any more of my videos that are going to be coming up. And, 
I hope you liked it. Have a nice, uh, well, let's see, November? It's almost December, so yay for Christmas. Anyways, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.